your seal kit for your lower unit, it's going to come with a whole bunch of different seals and O-rings and gaskets. And you got to go through and pick out which ones are right for your model. Because they cover a bunch of different models. This one is for uh, V4 and V6 oven rigs. And uh, as you can see, I already went through and picked out my seals. These are the two bearing carrier seals right here they go back to back they go in here like that back to back and you gotta make sure the lips face in the right way this lip goes out this lip goes in this holds oil in that holds oil in this holds water out and then here are the ones for the drive shaft bearings same deal they go in here like this, press them in, and then it comes with a bunch of other, like these ones I'm not using. I'm going to need my water pump base gasket, so I need this, this, this o-ring goes on here. It goes in the top groove, not the bottom groove. The bottom groove is for oil. It goes in that top groove up there, so to focus, goes in the top groove, coat this, in oil, coat this in grease when you put it on here, so don't rip, make sure all the gaskets cleaned off, old gaskets cleaned off, coat, well these are the same, but if you look at the seals, you're not going to be able to see this, but on the outside of the lip, it'll have a part number. If it's not there, it'll be on the inside of the lip. And look on your part schematic and make sure they, they match. Like these two are two different ones. But the one goes first and the other one goes. But you got to look at the, they're two different part numbers, but they look similar. So make sure you match those up. And here's a bearing carrier I pulled out. That big O-ring goes in that groove. And uh, you can see I cleaned it all up. Clean that up. And when y'all put these seals in, see the metal, metal side. Put a little bit of this right here on that metal surface to help seal that metal against metal. Well, this one's not. This one right here. When I put them in here. You press them in. You know, make sure. Yeah, they got a little bit of that gasket sealer on there. And you're going to want to put it around here too. So that it seals good. Because that, you don't want to pull the bearing carrier back out. It's a pain. And put some. This is by the OEM, the service manual. OEM service manual says to do this. All of this. You put some on these threads too. Because that will leak and put them on those threads this right here goes down and goes down in here like this well goes like this and you're going to want to put some gasket sealer this is similar to what the Evinrude product is, but this right here comes in a can with a brush. You're going to want to put a little bit on here. And then um, that O-ring sits down in here. And then you're going to want to put some on the outside edge. And then put your gasket on. Put a little bit more on the gasket. And then put your... I hadn't cleaned this up yet, but Put your base plate on, and then all the other stuff for the water pump. When you're doing a drive shaft seal, if you look down in here on the drive shaft, you'll see where the old, where the uh, old seals ride. You're gonna want to make sure to get in here and see if there's grooves, because they'll cut those new seals in a heartbeat. And what I do is. I get in there a little bit, 
uh, 400 get emery uh, paper and just polish them up. You probably put some rags down in here because you don't want that grit in there. But polish that up so it doesn't cut the new seals, and then clean it off with some rubbing alcohol or something. And make sure these gasket surfaces are clean and uh, clean of grease and oil and stuff too. But you definitely do not want those seals, new seals, to be cut because all this hard work will be for nothing. You'll get back together in a short time and it'll cut those seals and you'll have to do it all over again. So take your time and clean this up. Same with the prop shaft. I got my new seals in and I just thought this, you put grease on the inside of the lip so don't cut it. And you slide it on your shaft. Get a plastic bag, a little sandwich bag, and cut the zipper off. And put it put it over the top like that and put a little grease on it so when you slide that new house when you slide those new seals on you don't cut your seals that's the best way to do it that way you make sure your seals don't get cut by those splines the shift rod right here it's got to be a certain height from the base right here to dead center of the hole has to be a certain height or else it won't shift right and here's a chart so this is how you put the new seal in it's a little o-ring I already got the rod back in here I should should have left it out but you gotta pick the old this is the old seal you gotta pick it out with a little dental pick and don't matter if you destroy it, but get it out. And then to get the new one in, coat it in grease. Coat a ton of grease on it. And of course the rod won't be in here. It'll just be the hole. And bend it. Squeeze it and stick it down in that hole. And there'll be a little edge in there, a little lip. And you get one side, you get one side started. It'll, of course it'll be up and down like this, but get a flashlight squeeze it get one side started and then you can press it around with a little fine tip screwdriver and you just work it in until you get it in and, and, and it seats like that and then you should be good but don't try to push don't try to push this bushing out you'll destroy it don't try to hammer it out or hammer it out from this side or anything just just squeeze it in there. It takes a couple minutes. And then clean up your mating surfaces. Clean up the mating surface over here on the lower unit. It's nice and clean. I clean it with a little bit of a little bit of alcohol too. And then just put your new gasket on it and bolt it back up and torque it torque it down. So here's what it looks like with no bearing carrier. If you can see down in there, there's that surface right above the snap ring. Clean that up because somebody nicked it when they put the snap ring in so it wasn't sealing, the o-ring wasn't sealing good. And you're supposed to have a piece of threaded rod to stick, two of, two of them to stick in these holes so that you can line it up when you put it back together. But I don't have a piece of threaded rod so I'm going to use this piece of aluminum rod just to line it up and you put it back together see I got my new over my new uh, oil seals with grease in the middle and I got my o-ring it goes in here like that right there and then of course you got your bolts, four bolts with the seals. If y'all are doing this without using the kit, make sure you get new O-rings to go on there. On the part schematic, they're circular and they look, they have a hexagonal cutout in the middle of them. They're not like a regular O-ring, so make sure you get four of those. And put some of this down on that o-ring a big o-ring so that it doesn't leak 
and put it back together and just tap it in. Just tap it in with the rubber mallet. Don't go crazy on it. Uh, uh, take a, when you put it back together, get a plastic bag and cut the zipper off of it. And stick it over the top like that. So when you push it, when you push the bearing carrier on the overing or the seals don't get cut by the spline. And once you have that down in there, torque it down, and then pressure check it and vacuum check it. Here's the lower unit. It's all put back together now. Let's see, I got my four bolts down in there. One, two, three. You can see the gasket maker down in there, sealed good around those threads, on the bolts. I got a little bit up here too, around this. When I was putting it back together to keep the corrosion down. And yep, there you go, job done. See the new, the new O-ring or the new oil seals. And you don't really need a plastic bag on this. I thought it would be tighter than it was, but as you can see, this is smaller diameter than this. So you don't really need it, but if you want to do it, go for it. And that that uh the little rod worked well just to keep it in place. I mean, would have been better to have a threaded rod, but you don't really need it. You can see it's straight up just just how it's supposed to be. All right, I gotta pressure check it and vacuum check it later.